everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the young adult novel Essence, and it's Wednesday, which means it's time for another Top 5 Wednesday. Once again, this is a Goodreads group created by Lainey, and I will link it down below if you want to join the group yourself. But every Wednesday we t discuss a Top 5. Today's Top 5 is anti-heroes, and I didn't know what that meant at first, but I was also glad to see in the little discussion that I wasn't the only one. Now, apparently, an anti-hero is someone who is fighting their inner demons throughout the entire story, but they end up saving the day in the end, sort of something like that, but they don't see themselves as a hero, so I kind of had to, like, bend the rules a little bit for my top five selection, but I'm going to start now in no really particular order, just the books that I happen to pick out. Now, first up, we have Every Day by David Levithan. This is about someone who wakes up in someone else's body every single day and has to figure out who they are that day and we kind of get the idea that the main character is a boy but a, they can be a boy or a girl and their name is A and A ends up falling in love with this girl and she sort of falls in love with him too but he wakes up in a different body every day and to save the day he kind of sets her free sort of and that's kind of what love is about, is letting someone love someone else, even if it may not be you. And I thought because, you know, A didn't, A was fighting his inner demons, sort of being like, I love this girl, but I can't be with this girl because of the situation I'm in. And he ends up saving the day for the girl, but doesn't win himself, I guess. So that's why I chose this book. Next up seems a little more obvious. We have Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. The character in this is Katniss Everdeen because if you've read Mockingjay, uh, we notice that Katniss starts to lose it a little bit. And she is absolutely fighting her inner demons when it comes to President Snow and President Coin and figuring out who's the bad guy. And even if she's the bad guy and different stuff like that. And we start to see her lose it. And that's why she's fighting her inner demons. This is actually two books, but the book I'm talking about today is going to be A Child Called It by Dave Pel Pelitzer. I don't know how to say his name. But I want to talk about how when he was a kid, he was abused as a child. And he never actually reported his mom when he went to school. And in that terms, he was sort of fighting his inner demons because... He didn't know if it was a good thing, if it was a bad thing, and obviously it was good for him to report it, but he never did. And he did kind of save the day for himself in the end. This book is kind of stretching it for the inner demon thing, but it's kind of hard to figure out inner demons, I've found. Here we have Speak by Lori House Anderson. This is about a girl who was raped, but she never actually reported it, and that's why it's called Speak, because they want you know, her friends don't know what's wrong and she just won't say. And I would say that is absolutely fighting your inner demon anti-hero. You need to speak up and say, you know, this happened and it needs to be reported and stuff like that. This last book takes on the literal sense of fighting your inner demon and being the anti-hero and stuff like that. We have The Savage Grace by Brie Despain. This is the final book in the Dark Divine series. I absolutely love these covers. But... Um, basically it's about werewolves, and the Savage Grace, the main character's name is Grace, and she's literally fighting her inner demon that happens to be a werewolf. So, I thought, I thought that fit perfectly for this. So that was my little sad pile of books of anti-heroes. Um, I'm not sure if I selected the right ones. But if you guys have a better, um, choice, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think is a book with, uh, anti-hero and different things like that. But, as always, subscribe and thank you for watching.